The treatment of epilepsy has seen significant advancements in recent years, encompassing new medications, surgical techniques, and therapies. These developments aim to provide better seizure control, minimize side effects, and improve the quality of life for individuals with epilepsy. Here's an overview of some of the latest advancements. Medications. New anti-epileptic drugs, AEDs. Several new AEDs have been approved, offering more options for tailored treatment. These drugs include Sinovimate, Cannabidiol, approved for specific syndromes like Drav syndrome and Lennox-Gastart syndrome, and s lycarbazepine These medications often target specific types of seizures or syndromes and may have fewer side effects compared to older AEDs. Precision medicine. There's a growing focus on precision medicine in epilepsy treatment, where genetic testing can help predict which medications will be most effective or have fewer side effects for a particular individual based on their genetic makeup. Surgical procedures. Minimally invasive surgery. Advances in surgical techniques, such as laser interstitial thermal therapy, LAT, allow for the precise targeting and ablation of seizure foci with minimal damage to surrounding brain tissue. This technique is particularly useful for deep-seated lesions that are difficult to reach with traditional surgery. Responsive neurostimulation, RNS. The RNS system is a device implanted in the skull connected to one or two electrodes placed where seizures start. It continuously monitors brain activity and delivers short bursts of electrical stimulation to interrupt seizure activity before symptoms occur. Deep brain stimulation, DBS. DBS involves implanting electrodes in specific areas of the brain and connecting them to a pulse generator implanted in the chest. DBS is used to reduce the frequency and severity of seizures in individuals with difficult to control epilepsy. Therapies, dietary therapies. The ketogenic diet, a high fat, low carbohydrate diet, has been used for decades to treat epilepsy. New variations, such as the modified Atkins diet and the low glycemic index treatment, LGIT, offer more flexibility and have been effective in reducing seizures for some individuals. Vagus nerve stimulation, VNS. While not new, VNS therapy continues to be refined and used as an adjunctive treatment for epilepsy. The device is implanted under the skin and sends regular mild pulses of electrical energy to the brain via the vagus nerve. CBD-based treatments. Cannabidiol, a compound derived from the cannabis plant, has gained approval for treating seizures associated with specific syndromes, such as Dravet and lennox gastaut Research continues into its efficacy and potential application for other types of epilepsy. Research and future directions. Gene therapy. Research is underway to develop gene therapy approaches for treating epilepsy. This could involve correcting genetic mutations that cause epilepsy or targeting genes that influence seizure susceptibility. Stem cell therapy. Early stage research is exploring the potential of stem cell therapy to regenerate or repair damaged brain tissue and reduce seizures. These advancements represent a combination of technological innovation, a better understanding of the genetic and molecular basis of epilepsy, and a commitment to improving patient care. As research continues, it's likely that even more effective and personalized treatment options will become available for individuals with epilepsy.